वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम नाइन डैश थर्टीन दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर नाइन दैट इज स्ट्रेस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बाय आर सी हिबलर सो स्टेटमेंट इज डिटरमाइन द इक्विलेंट स्टेट ऑफ स्ट्रेस ऑन द एलिमेंट इफ इट इज ओरिएंटेड थर्टी डिग्री क्लॉक वाइज फ्रॉम द एलिमेंट शोन यूज द स्ट्रेस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इक्वेशन सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द स्टेट ऑफ स्ट्रेस वेयर देर इज शेयर फोर्स ऑफ नाइन फिफ्टी पाउंडस एंड देर इज़ अ कंप्रेसिव स्ट्रेस ऑफ थ्री हंड्रेड पाउंडस एंड दिस इज इट्स एक्स एक्सिस एंड वाई एक्सिस सो यू हैव बीन आज दैट वैन इट इज़ रोटेटेड थर्टी डिग्री क्लॉक वाइज सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द स्टेट ऑफ स्ट्रेस ऑन दैट एलिमेंट सो विल फाइंड दिस लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन सो फर्स्ट वी हैव बीन गिवन दैट दिस इज एक्स एक्सिस क्लियर एंड दिस इज यूर वाई एक्सिस so you can see along x axis we do not have any stress so sigma x is equal to 0 and sigma y that is compressive this is minus 300 psi also shear stress which is tau of x y is 950 psi so i will write 950 and it is plus plus 950 psi so using uh, stress transformation equation what we will do is that i will write using stress transformation equation so first equation is that if you rotate it at any angle theta so stress transformation e for x component will be equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 cos of 2 theta plus tau of xy sin t sin of 2 theta so kindly memorize this formula now we have sigma x value we have sigma y we have tau of xy and theta is given as 30, 30 degree clockwise so clockwise is taken as negative so theta is minus 30 degree so 2 theta will be equal to minus 60 degree so put it in this formula so when you rotate element 30 degree clockwise so sigma x dash will be equal to 0 minus uh, 300 divided by 2 plus Zero minus and sigma x is minus three hundred divided by two into cos of two theta is six minus sixty, so minus sixty degree plus tau of x y which is nine fifty into sine of minus sixty degree. So when you solve this, you will get sigma x dash come out to be minus eight nine. Eight psi. So this is the transform component in x dash direction. Clear? What is x dash? So x dash will be your this one. When you rotate it thirty degrees, so this will be your x dash, and this will be your y dash. Clear? Now sigma y dash will be equal to. We have formula sigma y dash is equal to sigma x plus sigma y. Divided by two minus sigma x minus sigma y divided by two into cos of two theta minus tau of x y sine of two theta. So put the value, you will get sigma y dash is equal to zero plus minus sigma y is three hundred divided by two minus, and you will have zero minus minus three hundred. Divide by two into cos of minus sixty degree, and minus nine fifty, which is tau of x y into sine of minus sixty degree. So again, when you solve this, you will get sigma x dash and sigma x dash, sigma y dash. So sigma y dash comes out to be five ninety eight psi. Now we'll find tau of x dash and y dash. So for tau of x dash y dash, we know that tau of x dash y dash is equal to minus sigma x minus sigma y divided by two 
into sine of 2 theta plus tau of xy cause of 2 theta. So put the value minus 0 minus uh, sigma y is minus 300. So minus 300 clear divide by 2 into sine of minus 60 degree plus tau of xy is 950 into cos of minus 60 degree that will be equal to tau of x dash y dash okay now when you calculate it you will get tau of x dash y dash comes out to be 605 psi so you have this sigma x which is minus sigma y is positive and tau of x dash y dash is also positive so if you want to represent on the element when it is rotated 30 degree clockwise so it will be like this let this was the element clear okay so you can see sigma x dash is minus 898 so sigma x dash will be compressive one it will be perpendicular clear this is your sigma x dash and sigma y is 598 it is positive so sigma y will be like this in the direction of y dash it will be sigma y and your tau of x dash y dash will be also positive so it will be like this it will be like this so you can put the place the value sigma y dash is 598 psi sigma x dash was um, minus 898 and tau of x dash y dash will be equal to minus uh, plus 605 psi so this is the equivalent state of stress when this is rotated this element is rotated 30 degree in clockwise direction and that was all about this problem 9-13 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section Thank you for watching.